Hi, this is Dr. Nagendra Sardesh Pandey and continuing our discussion of Mullerian abnormalities. The commonest abnormality that is seen, overall Mullerian abnormalities occur in about 3 to 4 percent of women. Many of these abnormalities are actually benign. Now the commonest abnormality that we encounter in our day to day practice is something called as the uterine septum. That is from outside the uterus is a single organ but when you go inside the uterine cavity either you do ultrasound or an x-ray of the uterus <coughs> or actually look inside the uterine cavity with a telescope or called as a hysteroscope uh, there is a small partition inside the uterus dividing the uterine cavity into two halves and this partition may be just at the top of the uterus may extend down up to the mouth of the uterus and sometimes may even extend down into the vagina so depending on the extent of the septum or this partition in the uterus we label it as one subseptate uterus that is is only occupies a small part maybe half maybe one fourth maybe three fourth of the uterine cavity a little more than that extending almost up to the cervix but not into the cervix is a complete uterine septum then if it extends into the cervix that is the cervical canal it is the cervical uterine or uterus cervical septum and if it extends down into the vagina it is called as the utero cervical vaginal septum there is one more little controversy over this because sometimes in many uteri sometimes not sometimes rather in many uteri we see a small dip in the top of the uterus the top of the uterus is called as the fundus and some people consider it abnormal some people don't it's a very relative uh, terminology and we call it the arcuate uterus a little dip in the fundus or the top of the uterus there's no clear answer to that uh, so it with treatment of this depends on the situation that uh, or the indication for which you are treating the patient uh, which we'll discuss a little later